My name is Dr. Vajirupan Brunyakup from Pin of Songkhlai University. Honored to be here today. And welcome everyone for today's topic about the ACL recon the burn bundle ACL reconstruction. ACL injury is common in sport and can significantly in, uh, affect the individual mobility and stability and lead to the degenerative joint disease. ACL reconstruction is the surgical technique to restore knee to stability and normal function. Most of my care I prefer to do the burn bundle reconstruction because uh, my goal of ACL reconstruction is to restore the ACL to its native uh, dimension, inclusion, the dimension side, insertion site, and orientation of the fiber. The objective to restore normal knee by all mechanic, stability and function. And final result is my patient can return to the pivoting spot and prevent degenerative joint disease. The anatomy of the ACL consists of two bundles. Everybody understands that, the AM bundle and PL bundle. These two bundles work uh, together to provide safety of the, knee, of the knee throughout uh, the rank of motion. The AM mainly tie all the rank of motion, provide anterior posterior stability, and the PL bundle provide the rotational stability. The insertion site, like Dr. Suti said, the, it looks oval, but it attachment from the posterior to the anterior. And it's a fan light or ribbon light, depend on uh, little leisure. But when we, you can identify the femoral foot pin uh, by the ACL remnant in the, in the acute case, just like this case, when you get a, a Close look, you can define the injury site maybe around here, okay? And the technique is to use three portal technique and put the camera in the uh, standard and throw medial. With this, with this uh, camera position, you can viewing the entire lateral wall of the intercondylar notch, including the uh, femoral insertion site of the AM and PL bundle. The example case is the 48 year old male, two weeks after the ACL injury. You can see very well from the anterolateral uh, portal that the insertion side of the ACL may be around here. It looks a, a circle, but the true when you put the camera at the anteromedial, the femoral foot pin is uh, oval shaped just like this, longer than we can see, you can see it at the anterolateral portal. But in some chronic care, the femoral lamina is gone, not present. It's difficult to identify from the lamina. The location of the portal of the tunnel can be determined by using bon bony landmark, the lateral intercondylar list, and the lateral bifurcate list. The read is the osseous response to the stress from the ligament. Uh, in some chronic care, the, you cannot identify the list of the lamina. So sometimes you need to determine the solitude to locate the intercondylar lid and bifurcate lid. After you can identify the exactly where is the AM and PL should be, uh, the, port, the tunnel should be placed in the center of the insertion site. For my practice, I mostly use the uh, five to six millimeter aiming device for spare the, the post the posterior cortex around one to two millimeter for and create the AM tunnel in deep knee flexion and spare the resident uh, bifurcate lead around two to three millimeter and use the free hand technique to create the AL, uh, PL tunnel. So these two tunnel, these two tunnel can cover uh, the native ACL footprint just like this, uh, is, this picture show the single bundle uh, can cover less of the native ACL footprint compared to double bundle. In the real case, in the real case, these two pictures is from from uh, a 33 year old with two ACL reconstruction with hamstring graft. First single bundle and the revision case uh, double bundle. You can see the coverage of the foot pin, the double bundle can coverage more from posterior to anterior. 
and in terms of the graph bone contact area, uh, the double bundle had the bone and graph contact surface area of more than the single bundle board of femoral tunnel and tibia tunnel. We, when we're going to talk about the tibia is, the tibia is almost always ha uh, remain the remnant and it's easy to identify the footprint but the tibia insertion site is deep, had the three different light like of the city set. The C shape, elliptical shape and triangular shape. You want me exam with the, I almost always exam with the tibia guide and hook the, the S, SCL remnant to asset which type of the insertion. The ladies care is a C type. And this one is the elliptical or triangular type. By the tibial tunnel, I almost always create the two tunnel by use the posterior aid of the anterior horn lateral meniscus at the landmark and create the posterior lateral portal and anterior medial portal inside the graph as a remnant preservation concept. So my tunnel, my tibial tunnel will stay in the tibial remnant because of uh, this remnant preservation concept just like uh, previous lectures said it enhances cell proliferation, vascularization, and also proprioceptive uh, for the reconstruction ACL. After you can get the proper the tubular tunnel, passing the graph, the ACL reconstruction will look like in this picture. The important is the orientation of the fiber is look like uh, the native, uh, uh, how grass appearance. When the, this picture demonstrates the orientation of the AM and PL fiber at a different knee fraction. In extension, the anterior medial uh, bundle and posterior lateral bundle is tight and parallel to the moving side line, just like this. And uh, posterior lateral bundle will stay uh, posteriorly compared to the anterior medial bundle. And the bone bundle, the bone portal can uh, replicate the orientation in the knee extension. Just like the knee friction, 90 degree knee friction, the orientation of the fiber uh, can replicate to the, close to the nature. After you can create the proper uh, femoral tunnel and tibial tunnel past the graph, let it healing, how about it biomechanic and function? Recently, literature showed the biomechanic study of ACL reconstruction compare single bundle and double bundle show the, in terms of anteroposterior stability, the uh, double bundle has superior result every degree of knee infection from zero to 90. And in term, and also SMS in the pilot chip test, the double bundle had a superior risk outcome compared with single bundle at zero to 30 degree knee infection. About function, about function in the review literature 2022, this conclusion of the, the by generally double bundle reconstruction lead to the better restoration of the knee laxity and superior outcome uh, in subjective outcome compared to the single bundle ACL reconstruction. In every knee score in this review literature, they must say, including IKDC score, is favor to the bone bundle. This home score, favor to the bone bundle. Techner score, favor to the bone bundle. Power chip test, favor to the bone bundle. Measured by KT1000 and KT2000, still favor to the bone bundle. And gap failure is not different from single, uh, compared single and double. And OHN is still not different. So why I perform double bundle ACL reconstruction, even in technique, is quite difficult because this technique can uh, replicate the native ACL insertion site more covert to the a native ACL footprint and can, and fiber orientation is close to the native. And this all can provide the better myomechanic of the knee, provide the better function and stability. And finally, I hope um, our patient can return to the pilot sport and prevent the first degenerative joint disease. 
Thank you for your attention today.